hey guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be making this lovely dress you've seen on the mannequin of course it's not the size of the mannequin i just used pin to hold it down just to show you guys how it's gonna look on you if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button below and subscribe turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload a new video please guys like this video and share with your friends like it so that many people can get to watch and learn from it and this is the back view of this dress and this material i use is a thick chiffon and i use two yards of fabric the length is by 60 and the width is two yards okay so let's start okay guys here is the fabric i'll be using for this tutorial but i'll be using my pattern because you guys will not see the chucking i tried to use the fabric but the chucking wasn't clear so you can do this directly on your um fabric okay so here is my starting line and here i'll mark 8.5 which is my armhole and then my waist is 17 and then um the full length i'm working with is 40 but i'll minus eight inch for the um flay gather at the down part i will be marking on 32 okay i take away two inch um eight inches for the ruffle or gathered flay at the down part okay and here i'm connecting them so for the armhole same because it's um sleeveless so you can minus half inch from your armhole measurement so here i'll be marking my hip line from my waist i marked nine inches downward if you are not tall you can use eight inches downward from your waistline okay so as i was saying you minus half inch from your armhole <coughs> excuse me i forgot to do that and I marked my exact armhole so I'm, I was supposed to use 8 instead of 8.5 so here at the shoulder line I'm going to mark my shoulder measurement even though it's not necessary I'll just mark it 8 inches and on the bust line here I'm going to mark my I wanted to mark my neckline but I decided to take my bust measurements first of all so I'll mark my bust divide by 4 which is 9.75 to that i'll add one inch for seam allowance okay on here at the waist i'll mark my waist divide by four so this is both chest line and this is waist line and this is my hip line so the chest line i'm using it as my bust line also okay so here i'll mark my waist divide by um four plus one inch the same goes to the hip the waist i use is 36 divided by four okay my hip is 44 divided by four and and to that i add one inch so at the hemline i also marked my hip divided by four plus one inch exactly what i have on the hip line is the same thing i used at the on the hemline okay so my hip divided by four plus um one inch so i'm going to connect these points together so the bust i'm working with is 39 the waist i'm working with is 36 and the hip is 44 okay so i'll connect this together now like this so this dress will not have that is that less okay so now let's move to the neckline so uh at the neckline i'll be using my neck divide by my bust okay my bust divide by 12 okay if you remember i uploaded a video on how to make get your accurate neckline okay so this is what i used my bust divide by 12 what i got was um 3.25 and that is what i'm using as the neck width and the neck depth okay so that is what I use as the neck width as um, the neck depth. Your bust divide by four. I have a detailed tutorial on how to get your accurate neck measurement. So I will leave that at the end of this video and also on the description box below. So you connect with a curve like this from the neckline down. So if you see the picture on the thumbnail, you will realize that it has a four corner neckline, not round neck. Okay, it's four corner so i use my neck 
measurement i just mark it this way and we are done with the front panel so now i'm going to cut this out and we're going to draft the back okay so we are done with the front panel and please always take note of what you mark what you are going to be cutting away like i said i use the neck depth of um 3.25 that is what i'll be cutting out okay so that is the off shoulder if i'm to use that word so i'm taking out um 3.25 so take note of what you'll be cutting out so that when you're making your strap you will remember or know what to take so this place i'm cutting out is 3.25 so that is what i use as the neck depth and neck width so i'll be using this to draft the back so here i added one inch for zipper allowance to the back and i marked the 3.25 neck width like this so i'm going to place this like this because i just want to use it to cut out the back panel and i'll pin this down okay i marked the 3.25 down and i placed the neckline there just to get accurate length for my dress okay so here i am going to mark my neck width for the back i'll be using half inch for the back neck depth half inch while the neck width will be the same thing with the front which is 3.25 okay so here <clears throat> and then i'm going to just connect like this okay just normal now just curve my armhole down connect my armhole from this point down to the chest line like this okay like this and then i'll connect this way and we are done with the back panel also so all i need to do is to use the front panel and trace out the side because they are the same measurement the only difference is the neckline and the zipper allowance so i'll just cut this using this pattern like this so um yeah so that is what i'm doing right now i'll just cut this out So guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button below. And if you are enjoying this video, please, or if you enjoy it, please, after watching, please hit on the like button. Like this video and share so that other people can get to see it. And thank you guys for doing that. So after cutting this, I'll just go ahead and fold my fabric into two and cut out the So here my fabric is on fold. I folded it into two and I will just cut, place the front panel. Okay, you place the, this one is the back panel first because this is the one that has the zipper allowance. I place the back panel and I'll be cutting it out. And because it has a zipper, which means that place that is on fold, I need to slash it open. Okay, so for the back, you'll be needing two pieces, and for the front, you'll be needing one piece on fold. Is that clear enough? So I just use my pin to secure this, and I will cut. All right, so remember, we've already added a seam allowance to the pattern, so no need of adding seam allowance to the fabric again. So you just stress this out. okay so as you can see the back panel is two pieces and here is the front panel i've also cut it out this is on fold okay so the front panel is on fold so here it is this is the front panel so next i'm going to cut the facing for this so to get the facing all you need to do is to fold this back into two like this and then you get your fabric and fold into two so this is my pieces uh some part of the fabric i fold into two and then i'll place the front panel like this on it okay i placed it like this making sure it's below the armhole like five inches below the armhole okay and then i'm going to trace the neckline out okay 
so i'll just cut this out now make sure your fabric is on fold so you place the folded parts together the dress folded part and the and pieces folded part also okay and then you trace exactly no seam allowance on the facing okay so i'm tracing exactly what i have okay and we are done cutting out the front um facing so this is how i want my facing but in case you don't want it this big you want a smaller facing i'll just show you what to do okay but i feel i'm wasting my fabric that's why i just um, decided to do it this way so here you just place it this way and then you mark the length of your facing if you want it three inches or four inches you just mark it round okay so i'm going to be sewing like this but in case if you don't want this facing this way i will show you what to do just cover it using your tape just measure measure what you want and then you mark it like this like this round you connect all your points make sure they are equal three three inches round like this and then you cut out the down parts okay just make sure it's three three inches or four four inches round like this following the shape of the facing and then you cut it out and throw the down part away okay so just use your tape let me show you just mark your three inches three inches three inches round following the shape take everything equal and then you cut it connects your point and then you cut out but me i want it to be like this let me not waste this fabric let me use everything okay so um the next thing is to cut the back facing exactly the same way i did to the front is the same way i'll do to the back okay so here remember we take out 3.5 3.25 or let me just call it 3.5 for the front neckline and for the back is half inch so that means what i'll be working with is four inches for my strap so my strap is going to be four inches okay so i'll be using four inches for my strap but i'll be making it five inch half inch for joining to the back half inch for joining to the front so this strap just make your strap anyhow you know just normal way we make strap i don't know if i need that to show you guys how i make my strap but i just make this strap just normal strap you know and then you place the facing on it and pin it down to hold it in place okay you just pin it down to hold it in place like this and after this i'm just going to go so round it okay using half inch seam allowance from here i'll just sew to this point and down here okay so just join your um fabric and uh, turn the neckline and the armhole and i'm done doing that so i stitch here first of all and then i stitch down and i stitch down okay i find it easier doing it that way okay so i'm now trimming out the ss fabric i have so you just trim out the excess fabric you have and then you turn okay so this is what i have after making dirt so guys don't worry this strap is long and i'm still going to leave it this long in case if <laughs> in case if i needed to add it so after making my dress i'll just go inside and cut out the ss strap okay so now let's work on the back panel the back panel i'll just fix my zipper so this is the back panel okay first of all let me show you guys the flay or the gather part remember the one with my nose was eight inches okay so this eight inches i added like two inches to this so what i have here is 10 inches long and the length is my hip circumference times three if you have enough okay my is my hip circumference times two plus 30 inches remember my hip circumference is 43 
44 sorry so my hip circumference times 2 plus 30 inches because i do not have enough fabric okay so that is that and here is my zipper i'm just going to fix my zipper to the back panel and after that i will turn the neckline just like we did to the front okay so i'll let me fix the zipper then i'll come back and show you guys what next okay so guys there is something i forgot to show you guys how to do so here is the waistline i'll just extend the line like this to be sure where the waistline is and then you're going to mark half inch like this inward you mark half inch like this and you connect it to towards the neckline like this okay just slant it this way and then you do the same thing down just slant it towards the um hip line like this okay and then you're gonna cut this out that means um we're eliminating the zipper bulging at the back i did that on the dress so even though i forgot to add the seam allowance normally i prefer using 0 0.75 not half inch okay it makes it come out perfectly well but because i did not remember to add the seam the allowance to this so you're now marking half inch inward so this will not be your new zipper allowance okay so you just mark your one inch following that line you mark your one inch following that line like this Okay, so after doing this, I'll just connect it and you guys will see how it will look. So you now have your new zipper allowance like this. This will help eliminate zipper bulging at the back. So when you're cutting yours, remember to add not one inch, add 1.75 or you add 1.5 depending on the amount you want to take out from your waistline. Okay, so I took out half inch here now, but normal I use 0 0.75 which is quarter inch okay so this is what you need to do i did that on the dress but i just thought to show you guys so that to not look like you know so here is the zipper so this water here i ironed it i used the water steam iron to do that so i'll just place this like this on it you open your zipper allowance open it up oh. guys you open it up open it very well and then you open it and sew okay sew the neckline like this and downward and also down the zipper side okay so i'll show you guys what i mean later i think i didn't show it here so guys i'm done doing that and you need to fix your uh, strap i forgot to show you guys remember we said the strap is four inches and i use five inches okay so you need to fix the strap inside okay so you mark out your strap measurement and then this is the right side of the front facing the right side and then you fix it inside this one and sew like this and also sew the zipper side down like this down to the zipper side this is the zipper side okay you sew down and then you also sew the armhole down okay i did the same thing to this side you sew the strap side the neckline the zipper and also the armhole okay and then now i'm going to turn it so that you cut out the SS zip like i said i'll cut out the excess of this strap later i just want to make sure after everything i wore it and it's turned out fine i'll just cut it out okay so here you open it up and this is what we have okay so you have it looking all neat so this is the zipper side this is it i'll just zip it up so as you can see everything is coming out beautiful okay so here it is i used an invisible zipper and then i'm going to show you guys the inside okay for you to see how neat it is on the inside So this is the inside okay so you can imagine if this if the facing or there is lining downward everything will just look perfect and beautiful okay so this is how the inside looks like so now i'm just going to join this 
together and shape using the seam allowance i added so if you add more than one inch you take out one inch but i'll be taking out half inch because i want the dress to be a little bit free so i'm taking out half inch and then i leave half inch for my ease allowance okay so i'll just measure round here so to cut your flea or your this thing you measure round here whatever you get you cut times three of it or times two plus so my like i said was my hip measurement times times two so you gather this to that measurement like what i got there was 50 right after measuring i have 50 so um i need to gather this to be 50 so when i measure it if it's not up to 50 that means i need to loosen the gather a little okay so this is even 44 so i need to loosen it to make it 50 so that it will fit to this point and after that i'm going to i hem the down part okay i folded the down part so you place the right side facing the right side of the dress like this and then you sew it half an inch okay you sew it half an inch round the dress and you close up this back part and that will be all thank you guys for watching please like and share the video and i'll see you in our next tutorial bye